Those are more than one question, I think. Um, but uh, I think when I think digital cooperation, I mean, one aspect is the IGF uh, that I think does a good job at raising some of these questions that need to be asked within companies, within uh, multilateral kind of organizations, intergovernmental organizations, uh, but also within kind of rights groups and, and so on. But I think also uh, it's not necessarily a response to your question, so maybe now I ruin the, the data that you, uh, but uh, I think that for me the cooperation also just needs to get to the impacted individuals. And I think that's what has been really lagging behind, and that's where a human rights-based approach really adds a lot of value, which ethics does not, uh, which has, you know, maybe there is cooperation, and maybe significant, but, but maybe it is still concentrated in innovation hubs, such as Silicon Valley. And then we discuss ethics uh, that impacts people that are just far removed from the contacts that those people making those decisions for the benefit of those people actually don't, they're not aware of the, the kind of relevant context. So I think digital cooperation also has to be not just horizontal but vertical. We need to be able to both create, uh, develop technology that means that we can access kind of rights holder voices um, without, of course, um, threatening kind of their security if there are human rights defenders and so on. Um, but but uh, I think that's the I think the vertical is really uh, what's needed in order to make it a meaningful, you know, high level panel on something. If you don't get down to down to the to the you know, to the floor or, or whatever to the actual realities, I think uh, it's just kind of you know it's a big missed opportunity.